At this time, we have begun our junior Hereford show. In the ring at this time is class 101 of Horned Spring Heifer Calves. We have entry 1316 from Catherine Coleman. Entry 1317, Mark Crypton. Entry 1318, McKenna Rogers. And we have entry 1320, Mary Elliott Martin.
Well, first and foremost out here this morning, appreciate the opportunity to come sort through your Junior Hereford cattle, and, and what a way to kick us off here. Both these cattle, I think, bring some neat pieces to the table and some pieces that I'm drawn to. With that, they're pretty different in terms of their type and kind. The heifer that I used to win here, one that I think you can project on to being an awfully neat bread down the road. I like her elegance up through her front end. I love her structure and how she goes to the ground with that kind of flexibility, good foot size, and her reach and range of motion I think is exceptional. Her body type and freshness out here today and the way that she comes straight back out of her sternum and progresses into that kind of body shape is truly impressive. And she's surprisingly stout when you get right in behind her. She wants to get just a little bit tight right there in her loin. I wish we could strengthen her up in that regard. And that's where I think you really start to tie into this one in second. One that's so strong in terms of her top line, so bold in terms of her body shape, comes with some added stoutness of feature at the ground. And I think one, if kept lean and kept honest in terms of her overall composition, that one's got a lot of neat things that you can tie into. I'd like to see her just a shade neater right there at the point of her shoulder. I'd like to see her just a bit longer and square back out through her hip. But man, that one gives you a good look. She's a power cow and she reads that way, starting at the surface and works her way up. One that comes here in third, certainly no slouch. And a female that you like an awful lot in terms of her genuine body shape and maternal look right there through the center portion of her cage. I like this one when she gets her all put together in terms of her overall lines. In motion, she's the one that's a bit more uncoordinated in terms of her hind leg. She's a bit rounder back out there through her hip. I'd like to see her just a bit longer up through her front end to really push those two directly in front of her, but still an awfully nice female standing there in third with a lot of neat days ahead of her. The one that closes out this class, I think still puts a lot of good together in terms of body shape, maternal function, and flexibility. This one still does all those things to a high degree. As you analyze her in comparison to some pretty elite females ahead of her, she's just a shade plainer from her shoulders forward. She doesn't have that added stoutness when you get right in behind her. I'd like to stouten her up in terms of her feature there at the surface to move up higher here today. But an awesome class to get us kicked off here in our Junior, junior Hereford Show. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Within the Hereford Show, your results from Class 101, Horned Spring Heifer Calves. In fourth place, entry 1320, Mary Elliott Martin. In third place, entry 1318, McKenna Rogers. In second place, entry 1317, Mark Kipton. In first place, your class winner is entry 1316, Catherine Coleman. In the ring at this time for the Hereford Show is Class 102 of Horned Spring Heifer Calves. Two entries, entry 1321, Lila Both, and entry 1325, Bella Presnall.
Nice pair of them here, and I think certainly some good trade-offs back and forth at initial glance. You're drawn to this one's additional body shape and overall mass. She remains a bit squarer in terms of her lower skeleton when you study her coming and going, and then she gets this one put together here on the stand. I think that one gives you a broody, powerful look, and a female still remains collected in her lines. As you go to the surface, there's a few question marks. I'd like to set her back in the angle to her shoulder and knee. As she goes to the ground, I think she reads with enough flexibility in her hind leg. She just wants to be a bit tighter in terms of of her movement range of motion there out of her hip that I'd like to see just a bit freer in that regard but certainly a female that you like an awful lot especially from that three-quarter shot as you study her right there out of the back side of her shoulder the heifer here in second has some advantages and I prefer her bend and uh, flexibility up through her front end as she goes to her knee she reaches with a bit more just true flexibility out of her hip and a female on paper is my preference in terms of her calving ease out here today she gives up just too much mass right there through her center body she wants to close up when you get right in behind the cattle and specifically there at her hawk, she wants to close up a bit more than what I'd personally like to see, but I think a lot of future still in that female standing there in second. Congratulations to both those young ladies. within your Horned Spring Heifer Show. For your Herefords in Class 102, your results in second place, entry 1321, Lila Both. In first place, entry 1325, Bella Presnow. In the ring at this time is Class 103 Horned Spring Heifer Hereford Calves. We have the one lone entry, entry 1327 from Brayley Carr. Awfully neat female here is a single entry on her Hereford side, and I think one that does a lot of things right. And it starts at the surface with that kind of flexibility, that kind of genuine reach that she has off of both ends and continues to work up into such immense body shape and turn to the base of her rib cage. You get right in behind this heifer. She's so opened up and square in terms of her pin set and remains that way as she goes to the ground and still lays it smooth onto her body. Up through her front end, is she the wildest looking one that we're going to see here today? Maybe not. Uh, I'd like to maybe see her just a bit neater to the top side of her crest and tidy her up in terms of her throat latch, but that doesn't take anything away from what she has from there on back. I really like that one. Just brood cow look through the base of her rib cage and her added flexibility off of both ends. An awfully nice female for this young lady. Congratulations. Your results from class 103 in the Hereford Show. First place, entry 1327, Braley Carr. Within the Hereford Show at this time, we are paused for our champion horned spring heifer calf drive as we do have a dual exhibitor in both the Hereford and Junior Angus Show.
Back over to the Hereford side. In the ring at this time is your Horned Champion Spring Heifer Calf Selection. We have our first and seconds returning from classes 101 through 103. Well, I think an exceptional division to get us kicked off over here on the Hereford side. If you're standing ringside, go ahead and put your hands together for all these exhibitors here to get us kicked off this morning. Awesome set of cattle, and I think what you see in the Herefords is a good bit of diversity, which I think is a, such a strong point here in this breed. Regardless of your type and kind or how you want to breed them, you can find that here in this particular breed. And I think we see that here in Division One in terms of the different types and kinds that come back out of here and surface in their respective classes. The heifer that comes out of Class One, I think he's a projector on to being a big bred. That one puts a lot of neat things together. Her flexibility, her reach and range of motion, her fresh body type, and how she progresses back out of her sternum into her center body and fill a flank I think is certainly on point. I love her elegance up through her front end, how smooth built she transitions from her shoulder back into her forerib. She wants to fight the halter and because of that she gets just a shade weak right there in her loin but here on the stand I think it looks awfully awfully good. We come here out of the second class and I thought that was one that was so bold and opened up in terms of her body shape. One that can give you a good look here on the stand in motion. That one probably has the most question marks for me in terms of her front end scale skeleton, like to lean her, or set her back in the angle to her shoulder knee and just see her reach with a bit more flexibility out of her hip, but certainly a powerful cow that can give you a good look there on the stand. Then we see this female here out of the third class, and I think shoulders back, that one's impressive in terms of her body shape, her added dimension and squareness that she has from behind, her flexibility and reach off of both ends of her skeleton. Up front, you'd like to see her just a shade leaner right there in her throat latch and down into her chest floor. She's not just near as thin to the top side of her neck or maybe as feminine in terms of her head but again such a brood cow in terms of her build from her shoulders back I think that one's certainly exciting and especially for a cow prospect one more time put your hands together for these exhibitors in division one I'll get you a champion in reserve
We bring this second back out here, and I thought that was an awfully good class and a close pair, honestly. They're pretty different in terms of their type and kind, but the added foot size and feature of this female, her dense, powerful body shape, her squareness and stoutness from behind, and still to put it all together with that kind of look and remain collected like she does here from the side profile, I think is truly impressive. Young man here out of class one is going to be a reserve. Your results for your Horn Champion Spring Heifer Calf Division within the Hereford Show. Your champion goes to entry 1316, Catherine Coleman from Class 101. Your Horn Reserve Champion Spring Heifer Calf also comes from Class 101. And that is entry 1317, Mark Kipton. Within your Hereford show, in the ring at this time is class 104, horned junior heifer calves, calved February 1st through February 28th.
We jump into this next division, grab another gear. I think both these females on the top end of this class are exceptional in terms of just their quality and what they bring to the table. And even between the pair, I think it's still a pretty straightforward decision. This one's my kind here at the start of this class. I love her flexibility. I love her reach. I love her lines and the way she's built from her chest floor and progresses back so good in terms of her body shape, one that's lean in terms of her composition. She's smooth in terms of her makeup and how she comes back there into her body shape is certainly impressive. You set her into motion. I think that's that one's best view, which in my opinion is how you study good cattle on the go. That one stays so collected in her top line, so arrogant, has that kind of presence up through her front end. An awfully, awfully nice place to start off here in this particular class. That's not taking anything away from the one here in second because you take that one out of the mix and I think then you're raving about this female here, one that's so stout featured in terms of her general construction, her body shape, and the way she opens up when you get riding behind the cattle is something Something to get fired up about and just the way she's built in terms of her general makeup and squareness underneath is certainly something to breed on as you analyze her in comparison back to this class winner she's not near as neat from her shoulders forward she's not near as bold right there in her heart and forib and i'd like to see her just a bit more flexible right there to her hawk it's not out of bounds by any means but when you're cutting hairs between two females that i think are exceptional you got to get down to the nitty-gritty the heifer here in third is certainly no slouch and i appreciate this one being genetically enhanced one that certainly still has a great deal of look from her shoulders forward. Her flexibility at the surface is on point. Just gives up a bit too much mass right there through the center portion of her skeleton. Not near as stout featured as she goes to the surface when you analyze her comparison back to that top pair. Awfully nice class there. I think certainly a standout top pair. Congratulations. Within your Hereford show, your results from class 104 in third place, Ireland McCarvey. In second place, Catherine Coleman. In first place, Cricket Collins. In the ring at this time is class 105, Horn Junior Heifer Calves calved January 1st of 2022. We have the lone entry. Entry 1345, Chesney
Nice single entry for this young lady back over here on the Hereford side. And I think uh, certainly exceptional cow prospect for her as she goes down the road. Uh, certainly a nice female, but going to be an awesome cow. Bold bodied, stout featured, stout sculled, and I think one that will produce some awfully nice cattle. When put back into production, reads with some good carcass data. Again, I think an awfully nice female for this young lady. She's sound. She's big bodied. She's bold. She's got some feature. Certainly a nice one out here today. Congratulations to her. Within your Hereford show, your results from class 105 in first place, entry 1345, Chesney Dubit. In the ring at this time for the Hereford show is your class winners to return for your Horned Champion Junior Heifer Calf selection. Within our Hereford show, our judge today is Nick Fitzsimmons. He grew up on a Semitol seed stock operation in western Iowa. Growing up exhibiting cattle across the country and livestock judging sparked a passion that eventually led him back to the Black Hawk East College and then on to Texas Tech University where he was a highly successful livestock judging team member. After serving as the assistant livestock judging coach at Texas Tech, Nick took a position with Sunglow Feeds. I want to thank Nick for being our judge for the Hereford Show today. We're just through our first two divisions on this side and still such great quality that we've seen to this point. If you would, please put your hands together for all these exhibitors out here for this particular division. I think a great set of cattle, and certainly uh, we got a lot of cattle left to go here in this particular show, and they're continuing to get older and bigger and bolder, uh, but I think they better pack a lunch if they're going to come and compete with these females here in this particular division. The one that comes out of this first class, I like that one an awful lot. I think her basic build and flexibility off of both ends, the way she reaches and her looseness of center spine, and then to have that kind of elegance and presence here from this side profile. She's so good in her line. She's so fresh in terms of her composition. Is she the stoutest one that we've seen to this point or will see throughout the remainder of the day? Probably not. Do I think she has plenty? Absolutely. And I like this one's basic build, her lines, the way she puts it all together and remains so collected. I think that's one that I got to get pretty fired up about. I'm pretty drawn into her. The heifer that comes here into this second or out of the second class, I think does a lot of things right from a function standpoint. She's sound. She's got body. She's got dimension. She's one that comes with some added feature in comparison to the females out of that first class. She maybe doesn't have near as much just presence to her front end. I'd like to tidy her up in terms of her chest floor and see her just a bit more core 
coordinated in terms of her movement, more from an aesthetic standpoint than anything, but certainly a good kind of a cow prospect for that young lady. We'll go ahead and talk that second that comes out of that first class. And as I said there earlier, I think certainly an impressive pair. And that one's on the other end of the spectrum in terms of feature and bone and stoutness and boldness. I think that one does a lot of things right. One that maybe wasn't quite as chiseled up through her front end. I'd like to stouten her up just a shade right there at the base of her heart and full rib. But man, that one does a lot of things right. And certainly some intriguing breeding pieces. Pretty straightforward decision out here in this particular division. We're going to keep these two females out of this first class together. Congratulations. The results on the Horn Champion Junior Heifer Calf Selection in the Herefords in champion slot is coming from class 104, and that is Sierra Collins with entry 1339. Your reserve champion junior heifer calf also comes from the same class, entry 1342, Catherine Coleman. Entering the ring at this time for the Herefords will be class 106 horned senior heifer calves calved December 28th of 2021. We have one entry, 1346 from Chesney Dubit. Nice single entry December here back on the Hereford side and a, a nice dark red conservatively marked female that I think reads right in terms of her basic skeleton and flexibility and the way she goes off of both ends. I like her looseness of center spine. Then as you get right in behind this heifer, she comes with some added squareness and stoutness working down the top side of her skeleton and remains that way as you study her to the ground. For all her boldness from up above, I wish she had just a bit more turn to the base of her rib cage and stouten her up in terms of her heart and forib. She may be not near as just out there looking from her shoulders forward, but certainly a powerful kind of a female that I like an awful lot in terms of her reach and flexibility off of both ends. Young lady's doing an exceptional job getting this one shown. Congratulations to her.
within your Hereford show. The results from class 106. Your class winner entry 1346, Chesney Dubit. In the ring at this time is class 108. We have Landon and Madison Lineman, Cruz Collier, and Braden Drum. good set of them here on the Hereford side and I think some good debate amongst these three females all three of them extremely high quality I think all three of them bring some impressive pieces to the table and then each and every one of them you'd like to change just a shade I think when it gets maybe just a bit more challenging to me it always comes back to which one would I load on my trailer first and it's a female here at the start of the lineup is she perfect no I'd like to stout her up in her forehip just a shade I'd like to see her just a bit square back out through her hip but as far as eccentric pieces up through her front end some stoutness of feet 
feature, some boldness of body, the way she's put together in her lines, and then to still be the stoutest female when you get right behind the cattle and reach the way that she does off of both ends, I think makes her a nice place to start again. An exciting female that I think is fun to look at here in the show ring and got some awfully cool pieces to breed on. The heifer that comes here in second would be my preference in terms of her basic skeleton at the surface. She's the biggest footed. She's got as much feature as any of them, and she comes with plenty of flexibility off of both ends. From there, she has a few more question marks. She's more jammed up up through her front end, just a bit shorter face throughout, one that doesn't have quite as much sweep to the base of her rib cage, and for one that maybe comes with a bit more front end, she's the most closed up and narrow when you get right behind the cattle in terms of genuine dimension. The heifer that comes here in third is one on the stand that I think can give you an awfully good look. Such a big body shape to the base of her rib, one that comes with plenty of an upheaded look up through her front end. She reaches with enough flexibility from the side profile coming and going. She wants to turn out and close up in her chest floor, one that hocks in a bit more than, one, than what I'd personally like to see, and it's just a bit frailer in terms of her general feature. Good class there. I think all three of those females are awfully nice. Within your Hereford show, the results from class 108. In third place, entry 1356, Braden Drum. In second place, entry 1355, Cruz Collier. And your class winner, entry 1353, Landon Lineman. Within your Hereford show, in the ring at this time is your first and seconds returning for your Horn Champion Senior Heifer Calf selection. Really a nice set of them here in this particular division. And I think as we get them back out here, you can see a lot of good amongst these females. A heifer that comes out of this first class, again, a nice dark red, conservatively marked female that comes with the right kind of flexibility at the surface and reach off of both ends. Plenty of feature and stoutness when you get right on the top side of the cattle and has a big pin set when you get right in behind them. When you step back off her, she's one that I wish had a bit more sweep to the base of her rib cage relative to her chest floor. She's maybe not near as neat looking from her shoulders forward, but certainly Certainly a high quality female does a lot of things right from a function standpoint then we get into that second class and I thought there was a good debate amongst those three females I landed on this heifer because I think she has the most eccentric pieces to breed on genetically she offers the most just positive spread in terms of her calving ease onto her growth and I think from there offers the most versatility I love her look and extension from her shoulders forward her added body depth her stoutness when you get right behind the cattle her feature as she goes to the ground and then her flexibility off of both ends. I said there earlier, I wish we could see her just a bit bolder right there at her heart and full rib. I wish we could square her up in terms of her pin set just a shade. But I think an awfully nice female. Puts together some neat pieces both on paper and in person. That one's going to be your division champion.
out here for our reserve division selection. I think one uh, that comes second out of that class with the right kind of foot size and squareness or flexibility off of both ends is something that stood out in that particular class. I like her bold turn to the upper portion of her rib cage. A female that comes with some added stoutness and feature throughout. As we said there earlier, I wish she had a bit more drop to the base of her rib cage and specifically back to her flank. And for being stouter up through her front end, not near as ladylike, I wish she had just a bit more stoutness when you get right behind her. But it's her flexibility and the way she's built at the surface that I think keeps her in this conversation. She's going to be a reserve division here today. Congratulations. Within your Hereford show, your champion horned senior heifer calf comes from class 108. That is entry 1353, Landon Lineman. And your reserve horned champion senior heifer calf also comes from class 108. And that is entry 1355, Cruz Collier. Coming up for the Hereford show is class 109. This is horned late summer yearlings. We have one entry, entry 1358 from Kinley Eckhoff. single entry here but one that I think certainly has some quality and some pieces to talk about. I like her flexibility underneath and her added foot size. A female that comes with plenty of femininity from her shoulders forward and I think still remains collected in terms of her top line. As you move to the base of her rib cage is where I'd like to change her. Just freshen her up to the base of her chest floor or see her a bit fuller from there on back. Heart center body and then into her flank. She's just a shade tighter relative to her chest but her feet and legs are nice. I like her look from her shoulders forward. She's got an awfully nice head on her. I think certainly a good female here to win this particular class. Congratulations to her. Within the Hereford Show, your results from class 109 in first place is Kinley Eckhoff, entry 1358. Set to enter the ring this time will be class 110. We have a lone entry, entry 1359 from Lane Cady and Logan Cady. Also want to highlight within the Hereford show, your national Hereford queen is Madison Katzenberger. She is from Wisconsin.
Nice May female here in our early summer division, and I think certainly one that uh, can stand a lot of competition. A single entry, but certainly one that's right in terms of her feet and legs. I like her foot size and shape. She's got some added stoutness and squareness when you get right in on the top side of this female and then stopped and set up. She still puts it all together with an awfully high-quality look. Maybe just genuinely her chest floor sits a bit lower in her, but I think they've kept her fairly fresh, and you can see that up there through her jawline and into her uh, cheek, one that's certainly right in terms of her body shape and I like that one's flexibility. Congratulations this young man. The results from class 110 in the Hereford show. In first place entry 1359 Lane and Logan Katie. At this time we will bring back our class winners for our Horn Champion Intermediate Yearling Female Selection. Not as many numbers here in this particular division, but still a great deal of quality. As we look back at these class winners, the dark red female that comes out of that first class long and extended from her shoulders forward comes with some added foot size and flexibility underneath. As I said there earlier, for her turn and dimension from up above, I wish she had a bit more boldness to the base of her rib cage, and I wish we could see her just a shade tidier in her chest floor and make all that come together a bit neater to the base of her rib cage, but still a female puts a lot of neat things together. Then we get into that second class, and I think certainly one, especially when parked like this, uh, puts a lot of good things together. Her foot size, her flexibility, her feature, her attractiveness of skeleton, her boldness of body and dimension when you get right in on the top side of the cattle, and then to still put it together with that kind of look. She remains that way when set in motion in terms of a collected movement and staying good looking and all of her pieces uh, coming together the right way. I think certainly that one's an awfully nice one here in this particular division. Pretty straightforward decision for me. She's going to be her champion. We're going to follow right up with that heifer out of the first class.
Very high quality single entry April female here. And I really appreciate the way this one's presented here today in terms of her freshness, the way she's built up through her front end and how they've kept her chest floor in her is certainly how I like to see them. I like this one's bold body type and she remains fresh and genuine in terms of her body shape as you study her from there on back. Goes to the ground on a big foot. She's plenty flexible off of both ends. Remains collected in motion. And then again, as you step back off her, he gets her set up like that. That one can give you an awfully good look. Looking forward to seeing her back out here. Congratulations. Your results from the Hereford Show. Back to your horn champion and reserve champion intermediate yearling female. Your champion goes to entry 1359, Lane Katie. Your reserve champion goes to entry 1358, Kinley Eckhoff. Your results from class 111 in first place is entry 1362, Xavier Kane and Weston Grace. In the ring at this time for the Hereford Show is class 112, entry 1363, and this is... Kinnick Polson. What's been fun here on the Horn Hereford side, how the shows continue to build, and then one like this comes in, and I think certainly one that you can be pretty impressed with. I love this one's elegance and freshness. At this stage of the game, to have a bread built like this in terms of her front end and chest floor and still open back into that kind of body shape and genuine turn through her center rib, I think is truly impressive. At the ground, she's big-footed. She's comfortable. She reaches right off of both ends. You get right in behind her. She's got plenty of stoutness, and it all lays smooth on to her body. One minor criticism, she wants to roll just a shade up front as she comes right at you, but I think you'd have to talk for quite a bit longer to find another thing you'd like to change about this female, and that's pretty minor on one that I think is an absolute standout and puts a lot of neat things together. Congratulations to him. Your results from class 112 on the Hereford side in first place, entry 1363, Kinnick Polson. At this time, we will bring back our class winners from class 111 and 112 for our Horn Champion Spring Yearling Female Selection. Once again, need to highlight our judge for the Herefords. Our judge today is Nick Fitzsimmons. Nick has a position with Sunglow Feeds. Nick currently serves as a regional show feed specialist in the Oklahoma and Texas markets. Nick, along with his wife Ashley, son Lander, and daughter Lane, own and operate Fitz Genetics, a multifaceted cattle operation in Perry, Oklahoma.
we get back out here for this division and just two females that represent it, but what quality amongst these class winners, I think you can find a lot of good and get pretty fired up here in the Hereford breed. The heifer that comes out of this first class, foot size and flexibility and freshness and body shape. She's got plenty of turn from up above, puts together an exceptional look here from the side profile. Female, I think, does a lot of things right. And again, it starts at the surface in terms of her squareness and the way she reaches off of both ends. And for as much as I like that female, and I think you typically be raving on that one to be a division champion, then this one comes here out of this second class and takes it all a step further in terms of her presence and arrogance up through her front end to have that much more sweep to the base of her rib cage, come with more foot size and still reach and flex the way that she does. I like the way she's as smooth built and still comes with enough squareness from behind here to have all that kind of added look here from the side profile. Pretty hard to put a major hole in that particular female. I think an awfully nice place to go here in this particular division. Young man's going to be our division champion out of class two. Then we're going to follow up with class one. Congrats. Your horn champion spring yearling female for the Herefords comes from class 112. And that is entry 1363, Kinnick Polson. And your reserve horn champion spring yearling female comes from class 111. And that is entry 1362, Xavier Kane and Weston Humboldt. Within your Hereford show in the ring at this time is class 113. We have entry 1365, Zeke Ward, and entry 1366, Mark Kipton Lofton.
Really nice pair of February bred heifers here on the Hereford side. And I think certainly a female. It put some impressive things together at the start of the lineup. A heifer for being as long-bodied as she is to remain collected like she does down her top line and still have enough body shape to make it all come together from a balance standpoint. It's hard to do, and I think she does it extremely well. Got plenty of look and extension from her shoulders forward. Plenty of feature as she goes to the ground. A female for me, I'd like to square up just a bit up front. She wants to pigeon in just ever so slightly and roll when she takes off and goes, but it doesn't hinder her movement too much, and I think that's one that you like an awful lot in terms of her body shape, her added feature as she goes to the surface, and elegance here from the side profile. Young man's doing an awesome job getting that one shown. Got a heifer here in second that comes with a bit more turn and sweep to the base of her rib cage. A heifer that's still got an upheaded look up through her front end and awfully neat and smooth about her shoulder. She's got a bit of lingering foot rot, and I think it's hindering her movement just a bit here today, and she is assembled just a shot straighter up there through her front end with that she's not near as stout featured as a female it starts this particular class but i think still a broody kind of female that's smooth and neat in the way she's assembled from her shoulders forward can be an awfully nice cow for that young man congratulations within your hereford show your results from class 113 in second place entry 1366 mark kipton lofton your class winner, entry 1365, Zeke Ward. In the ring at this time will be class 114. We have the lone entry from 1368 of Kinsley, Sage, and Cashlin Krebs. Speaking on big green tractors, John Deere is the official agricultural and turf equipment provider of the National Western Stock Show. Be sure to visit your local John Deere dealer for great deals now, and remember, nothing runs like a deer. Really a powerful, broody kind of a female that uh, wins this particular class. And as you step back off her, I think one that still remains fairly collected in her lines for all of her dimension that she has from up above. A female that you like in terms of just her boldness and how she carries it to the base of her rib cage and her stoutness of feature there up about her skull. A few things I'd like to see changed on this female. I'd like to knock her down and see her tail head lay smoother into the back side of her hip. I'd like to see her go to the ground on a bit bigger foot and a shot more just collected in terms of her movement in that regard. But still, you got to respect and appreciate all the dimension that she has from there on forward. Congratulations to this young lady.
Within your Hereford show at this time, we have our first and second place winners returning for our Horn Champion Junior Yearling Female Selection. Back on the Hereford side, we got our junior yearling division. I think an exceptional trio of females that bring some awfully neat things to the table. We kicked it all off with that first class. And I think a female that certainly for her added length of body out here, and if anybody or everybody here staying ringside that's fed one before that's that long, it's hard to keep it all together. And I think they've done a great job managing that one correctly, keeping her fresh, keeping her spine right, and keeping everything right in terms of the base of her rib cage and how it all feels. From there, I'll back into her flank, one that's still reaches comfortably in her hip and hind leg. I prefer her smoothness of her shoulder and her added look and presence up there through her front end over the two females both behind her in class and then the one that comes out of that class directly behind her. As we said there earlier, she wants to pigeon in just to shade up front and she's honestly just a bit lethargic out here today, but in terms of her bend and flexibility and her lower joints, I think that one's on point and puts a lot of neat things together. The effort that comes here out of this second class, you get right in behind the cattle and that one's impressive. Her pin set, her stoutness right there through her center stifle and how she carries it to her lower quarter to have that kind of squareness and dimension from up above and the turn and way she wraps her rib cage down off of her rib down into her center body is certainly impressive. I think that one will raise some neat bulls down the road. As you step back off her, I think her general presence is nice one that you just like to change in a few specific areas. Knock her down on her tail head and see her more attractive and just a bit stouter in terms of her hind leg. Still an awfully nice female here in this particular division. I think uh, we got a nice place to go. We're going to start with this young man here at the front of the lineup to be your division champion. Follow right up with this other class winner to be reserved. Congratulations.
within your Hereford show, your results from the Horn Champion Drive, your Horn Champion Junior Female is entry 1366, Mark Kipton. Your reserve champion is entry 1368, and that is Kinsley Sage and Cashlin Krebs. In the ring at this time is all of your champion and reserve champion division winners for your Horn Champion Female selection. Well, if you're standing ringside and paying attention to the Hereford Show, go ahead and put your hands together for all these exhibitors. We get back out here at the end of our horned uh, show, and I think just an exceptional lineup from start to finish on both sides, the champions and reserves, and then cattle that had to go back to the barn that didn't make it back out here that I think put together a lot of neat things. And as breeders, y'all should be awfully proud as to what you put together out here today. I know as I got that call uh, to come judge this show, I was immediately excited and kind of just where we come from and what I married into. I always tell people I didn't grow up a Hereford kid, but I learned to love it because I married into a Hereford family. And back at the, the Middlesworth Ranch, it's always horn cattle. And so to see such quality from start to finish here in this particular show, I think is exciting. Uh, this breed's in such a good place right now, and it's because it's in good hands at the top. And so to Bailey and Amy and everybody there from there on up and all that they do for this breed, uh, certainly I appreciate it. The junior board for selecting me to come out here and judge this show. Absolutely appreciate them doing that because it's been a blast. I know we still got pulled cattle to go, but this has been fun to kick off the morning here in this particular show. I don't get to bring them with me as much as I'd like to, but my wife and my kids and then my in-laws are here today. And so for all that they do uh, to help get me to these shows, because this is something that I enjoy so much and then everything that we do in our own operation, can never tell them thank you enough. And for all that they do for our operation, certainly appreciate them uh, and couldn't do it without them. So one more time, please put your hands together for all these exhibitors. An absolutely exceptional lineup from start to finish. I'm not going to go back and talk each and every one of them. I'm just going to go get you a champion reserve, and I think they're awfully, awfully nice. Thank you. Your Horn Champion female Hereford 
is also the Horn Champion Senior, or excuse me, Spring Yearling Female, and that is entry 1363, Kinnick Paulson. Rolling into consideration will be entry 1362, and that is Xavier Kane Weston Grace. Last time here on the Horn Cattle, I thought that that one that we just used is certainly just an absolute standout and one that puts so many neat things together here amongst her contemporaries to be out there, look that out there looking and so just flawless in terms of her function is certainly impressive. There's one more back out here uh, that hit me awfully hard and I think is an absolute hammer, got a great deal of future ahead of her and I think certainly puts all the things together. I like to see them uh, go ahead one more time for your Horn Exhibitors. I'll get you a reserve. Your reserve champion is your horned champion, Junior Heifer Calf, and that is entry 1339, Sierra Collins. Within your Hereford show at this time, we have paused for pictures. Upon conclusion of our judge, Mr. Fitzsimmons taking pictures with our exhibitors, we will begin class 201 of our polled spring heifer calves.
Your Hereford show is back underway with class 201. This is Pold Spring Heifer Calves. Calved May 2nd through June 2nd of 2022. We have Xavier Weston, Kane Grace, Samantha Lynn Campbell, Jaden Thompson, Hannah Harrison, Chesney Effling, and Sophia Dietrich, Olivia Nisley.
What a great way to kick us off here in our polled show. And I think initially you throw your eyes on this pair of females, and they're pretty similar in terms of their type and kind. The longer you analyze them, there's some good trade-offs back and forth, but I prefer the heifer that I used to win up to her front end. The base of her shoulder now lays into her skeleton, her bend to her knee. She's square in terms of her base width up front, and everything hits just a bit truer. She's maybe not quite as expressively muscle but she's square back out through her hip and just as stout in terms of her genuine width. I like this one's reach and flexibility. She remains more collected on the go and a bit more upheaded and has just a shot more presence whenever she's in motion. I love her body shape. Again, her feet and legs. I think an awesome place to start here in this particular class. Not taking anything away from this dark red short marked female here in second. She's a bit bigger footed and just stouter featured throughout. Again, she's a shot more expressive in terms of her muscle definition right there in her center stifle and lower quarter, bold and round in terms of her body type. Again, as you analyze them further, one that's a bit more open about her shoulder and she's that way as she goes to the surface, she searches just a bit more out of her front end. She's not quite as upheaded or neat in terms of her jawline and head. A man that one puts a lot of good things together in terms of body shape, stoutness, feature, and still reaching comfortably out of her hip and hind leg. We come on here to this one in third, and certainly one that's not ready here today, but I don't think they have to be. And she still puts a lot of neat things together. So wild looking from her shoulders forward and loose in terms of her center spine. Got an awesome running gear underneath of her with plenty of foot size and feature. Just got to mass that one up in terms of her body shape, specifically right there in her heart and forehead. I wish we could power her up just a shot, but I like that one's pieces. I think she's got an awfully bright future. Heifer that comes here next, long body level in terms of her general design. One that's got enough natural things thickness when you study her from up above. She wants to funnel a bit more to the ground as you study her to the base of her rib cage. She's just a bit more up and down in terms of her shoulder assembly and how she goes to her knee. So you move one that's certainly got enough thickness from up above and levelness in terms of her lines down the line. The heifer that comes here next, awfully fresh in terms of her composition, neat looking from her shoulders forward, got plenty of elegance in that particular regard. Been out horsed here today in terms of her general feature and body dimension. Female that closes comes with a bit more depth of rib and just fullness back into her flank. like to reassemble this one in terms of her skeleton, rock her back and her angles off of both ends and just see her shot more coordinated in terms of her movement. Good class there, an awfully nice top pair. Congratulations.
Well, congratulations to those on the Angus side. It looked like an awfully good lineup. And I think back on this side, we got an impressive pair. And they're pretty different in terms of their type of kind, where they're at in terms of maturity. But I think both of them extremely high quality. I think it all starts with just skull shape and feature with the heifer that we used to win. And how she's built from there on back with just more squareness and dimension. As you study her in her full rib and down into the base of her rib cage, I like her foot size and shape and her added flexibility and the way she's assembled to that kind of turn through her lower skeleton. It's something that I'm drawn to. I wish we could pick her up in her pin set just a shade. But, man, she's so loose in terms of her skeleton, how she carries her spine. Her body shape is on point. She gets her put together here from the side or in motion. I think that one puts a lot of neat things together. Congratulations to her. I won't tell you that the one here in second isn't one that I'm drawn to in terms of just her out there pieces. That's my kind in terms of just an up-headed, eccentric look, one with some added feature as she goes to the surface. Her pieces and the way that they all come together read with a great deal of future. Uh, the long and short of it is today she's just a bit further behind in terms of her base width, her body shape, the way she's built right there to the back side of her shoulder. She is one that's just a bit flatter in all those regards. And if she comes with more dimension and squares up in terms of her basic build, that one's got some wild parts and pieces that I think would be fun to study. Uh, that stink regardless, that one's still an awfully nice female. Heifer here in third hit a buzzsaw of a top pair, one that's still right in terms of her body shape, enough pin width when you get right in behind her. She reads flexible off of both ends. She's just a bit Bit more open and round at the base of her shoulder. She's not near as neat looking on the go as those two females directly ahead of her because she is assembled just a bit rounder off of both ends. But body shape, general flexibility at the surface, I think is certainly on point. Got a good kind of a cow coming here in fourth, one that's big bodied. She's big footed. She's flexible. Just like to see her a bit neater in terms of her general look, shoulders forward specifically. She's not near as feminine in terms of her general design at the top side of her crest. I would like to set her back in the angle to her shoulder knee just ever so slightly got a female coming here next from the side profile can give you a good look big footed flexible got enough levelness in terms of her lines from a three-quarter shot she's a bit flatter than what i'd personally like to see right there in her heart and forehead and then that same view going away female right here that closes from her shoulders back is bold bodied she's comfortable in terms of her hip and hind leg and dead level down her top line up front i'd like to change her in terms of her skeleton she's more forward and open in terms of her shoulder and just too straight in terms of her knee out here for me good class congratulations to that top pair back over to your Hereford show for your results from class 202 in sixth place entry 1462 Kyla Pesky fifth place 1347 Addison Wall. Fourth place, 1392, Kyle Bells. Third place, 1387, Hadley and Hannah Harrison. Second place, 1386, Carly Swink. And your class winner, 1388, Chesney Effling. In the ring at this time is class 203, Pold Spring Heifer Calves, calved March 10th through March 30th of 2022. We have Colby and Franklin, Kaysen, Matthew, and Blake Bruns, Kenley Carr, Kennedy Jean Hoffman, Xavier Kane Weston Grace, and Brody Wall. Along with McKenna Rogers, Lane Katie, and Hannah Harrison.
as our judge Nick Fitzsimmons continues to evaluate class 203 of Herefords. I want to make sure we highlight our sponsors for the National Western Stock Show. Sullivan Show Supply. They are a family-owned and operated company founded in 1989. As the innovative leader in livestock and show supplies, Sullivan Supply has kept the values of hard work, family ties, and quality products at its core. Sullivan Supply is proud to service the livestock industry and wishes all the exhibitors at the National Western Stock Show the best of luck. Well, I think an exceptional class, and especially here on these top four, some good differences amongst them. I think some good trade-offs. If you're standing ringside and you liked a different one, I wouldn't argue with you because I think they all have some positives that they bring to the table, and depending on management from here on out, I think this class will be continually fun to sort through. The heifer that I used to want outside of one area, I think just kind of dominates this class. Her body shape, the way she's built to the base of her rib cage, her looseness of spine, her look, and her presence here from the side profile, she's so cowy and in terms of her just general look. I wish we could stout her up just a shade right there at her ankle to make it all match from the, all the, for all the dimensions she has from there on up. But she's loose, she's flexible, she's huge bodied. She gives you a killer look and everything makes sense on that female and transitions awfully neat. The heifer that comes here in second offsets her in terms of her feature as she goes to the ground. Her added flexibility, or excuse me, her added just strength in terms of her hind leg. One that comes with plenty of center body dimension and a look here from the side profile. As you analyze her and compare and back to my class winner. She's not near as long and extended from her shoulders forward. She wants to close up just a shade right there at her knee and as she goes to the ground. Some minor criticisms on a female. I think puts a lot of neat things together. Really like that one's hip and hind leg here in this particular class. The heifer that comes here in third isn't ready here today and I'll be honest, that's a kind that I typically am drawn to. The kind that I keep, typically keep around at the house. The ones that are going to be good as big breads and I think this one has that in her favor. Her flexibility and the way she's built in square as she goes to the ground is on point. One that's so neat looking from her shoulders forward and dead level down her top line and back out through her hip. She's just not near as ready out here today. And, and that's enough here in a tough class to put her in third. She's a bit flatter right there in her heart and forehead. I would like to see her just a shade bolder back into her flank and at the base of her rib cage to move up any higher here today. The heifer that comes here in fourth is certainly one on the stand that you can tie into. She's long spine. She's got enough depth of body. She reads attractive in terms of her skeleton right here and she can get her old neck pulled up out of her. You send her into motion. She's just a bit rounder there in terms of her shoulder construction. She's not near as coordinated in terms of her movement, specifically there out of her hind leg where she wants to have just a little extra set at her hock and bring it in. That's enough to move her down the line here in an awfully tough class, but I think that female is really, really good. The effort that comes here next, still one that's bold in the turn to the upper portion of her rib cage. I like her stoutness when you get right in behind her, and as she goes so stout to the ground in terms of her hind leg, with that, she's just a bit flat her right there in her heart and forehead. She's not near as neat looking in terms of her balance parts as we study her here from the side profile. Wants to play out just a bit more right there in her stifle and as she goes down into her lower quarter. Effort that comes here next that I think has a bright future and work down the line because she's not near as ready or opened up here today, but she's good looking shoulders forward. She's got enough depth of body. She's fairly flexible off of both ends. Just a bit frailer in terms of her general makeup. Wants to close up a bit more she goes to the base of her skeleton. Female that comes here next offsets her in terms 
terms of body shape and dimension. One that I like in terms of her squareness to the top side of her skeleton. Just like to change her up in terms of her balance from her chest floor back into her flank. I like to see her just a bit more flexible or I guess more coordinated in terms of her movement there out of her front end. Young man's heifer that comes here next on the stand can give you a neat look. Shoulders forward. She's as wild looking as any of them and dead level down her top line. Just not near as comfortable in terms of her lower angles. like to set her out back specifically right there in her shoulder and knee. Female that closes is stout and powerful and comes with that advantage in terms of just true dimension there in the lower part of our class. Just like to see it all lay a bit smoother onto her body to move up any higher here today. Good class there. I thought those top four were awfully, awfully nice. Congratulations. Your results from class 203, polled spring heifer calves in the Herefords in ninth place, 1402, McKenna Morgan Rogers in eighth place, 1399, Brody Wall, seventh place, 1397, Kennedy Jean Hoffman, sixth place, 1398, Xavier Kane and Weston Grace in fifth place, 1393, Colby and Franklin. Fourth place is 1404, Hannah and Hadley Harrison. Third place, 1403, Lane and Logan Katie. Second place, 1395, Kenley Carr. And your class winner, 1394, Kaysen, Matthew, and Blake Bruns. In the ring at this time is our class winners returning for the polled champion spring heifer calf and reserve champion spring heifer calf selections. Well, what an exceptional way to kick us back off here on the Hereford side in our polled show. We've got a spring heifer calf division that I think is exceptional. And we saw a lot of good cattle here through these first few classes that I think are going to be fun to follow along through their show career. We kicked it all off here on this first class. I, I think one that in terms of reading them from the ground up and the way they're built at the surface, this one is awfully, awfully good. Her squareness, her general flexibility, and the way that allows her to be so opened up in terms of her lower body shape and work 
work from there on up and have that kind of squareness is truly impressive. You step back off her and she remains so collected in terms of her just general presence, the way she puts it all together, and then in motion, it's still the same. I think one that's certainly got a bright future, and I like that one an awful lot. We come here out of this second class, uh, and I think certainly one that has some similarities in terms of foot size and feature. She comes with some added natural thickness when you get right in behind the cattle, and when parked and put all together, I think she can give you a killer look. Maybe even comes with a shot more extension than the heifer directly in front of her. As I said there in class, I'd like to see her just a bit looser right there over her loin or pick her up in terms of her pin set. Uh, but man, I think that one puts a lot of neat things together and her general flexibility at the surface is where it all starts. And we come here into this third class and a female that's just so impressive in terms of her body shape, one that's still so smooth in terms of her shoulder and then comes with that kind of elegance from there on forward. Uh, I think as you study her and if you want to pick her apart just a little bit on paper, does she push the envelope in terms of her birth weight? Probably. Uh, could you breed around it? I would say so. And when you have one that's built like this, I think you just figure it out as you go. I would on uh, the hoof, I would like to see her just a bit stouter featured at the surface to match what she has from there on up in terms of body shape and general dimension from behind. Some minor criticisms on a female, I think puts a lot of neat things together. One more time, put your hands together for all of our exhibitors here in this first division. An awesome set. I'll get you a champion in reserve. Your pole champion spring heifer calf comes from class 201, and that is entry 1378 from Chesney Effling. Rolling into consideration for reserve will be entry 1377, Hadley and Hannah Harrison. So we pull that second back out here. I thought one that certainly pushed uh, our class winner just in terms of feature and natural thickness and some added stoutness as you study her right there at her stifle. From there, she comes with just a bit more coarseness at the base of her shoulder, not near as extended from there on forward. And I'd like to see her just a bit truer in terms of her base width up front. She's pretty different, but there's one more out here that I think certainly does a lot of things right. Young man here at a class three is going to be reserved. Your polled reserve champion spring heifer calf comes from class 203. That is entry 1394 from Kaysen, Matthew, and Blake Bruns. Up next in the ring should be class 204. This is your polled junior heifer calves, calved February 2nd of 2022 through February 25th of 2022. We have an entry from Nolan Lee. Edward Gould, Lauren Frederick, Kinley Eckhoff, Kira Breimer, Haxton Harold Hoffman, Tava Gustafson, and Kylie Bells. Excuse me, Kyle Bells.
Once again, our judge for the Hereford Show is Nick Fitzsimmons. He grew up on a Semitol seed stock operation in western Iowa. Growing up exhibiting cattle across the country and livestock judging sparked a passion that eventually led him to Black Hawk East College and then on to Texas Tech where he was highly successful on the livestock judging teams. Really nice top trio here, and I think all three of them bring some neat things to the table. Never much of a question on where to start. I like this heifer an awful lot. Uh, her foot size and her added flexibility and feature at the surface is what I'm drawn to initially. And then I think from there, one that has just such an impressive body shape, the way that she opens back up out of her sternum into that kind of rib with that kind of dimension and still put it all together with that kind of look here from the side profile, I think is truly impressive. And her best look is in motion because she's so flexible and comfortable on the go and so loose in terms of her center spine. Perfect world. Maybe you could see her just a bit nearer the base of her chest or maybe see her a shot more conservative in terms of her color. I don't think you need to change those kind of things. That one's awfully, awfully good. The heifer that comes here next, short marked and conservative in terms of just her general uh, look. I, I think one that certainly you like an awful lot in terms of her feature at the surface, her body shape, her added squareness when you get right in behind the kettle, specifically over the one in second. A heifer as you step back off her, I think can still give you a good look, fighting the young man just a little bit here today. But in motion, she pulls it all together. I think the biggest thing, to move up any higher, she could be just a shot more coordinated or a shot more attractive in terms of her hind leg and how she goes to the surface. She's not near as high headed and elite from her shoulders forward as the one directly in front of her, but I love her body shape. I think that one is certainly neat in terms of what she brings to the table for raising the next generation. One that from the side profile is one that I'm drawn to stands here in third. High headed, neat chested, good in terms of her jawline, dead level down her top line, progresses back out of her center or her sternum with the right kind of body shape and turn back into her rear rib and flank. In motion is where she has a few more question marks. I'd like to stouten her up in terms of her foot size, set her back and her angles off of both ends and just see her driver hawk into the ground with a bit more security to move up any higher. But I think that one gives you an awfully neat look. Got a dark red female that rolls out here next it offsets her in terms of foot size and feature. She's got plenty of depth of body and levelness down her top line up front. She too needs to be set back in the angle to her shoulder and knee and her feet need to hit the ground a bit truer in terms of where they go to the surface. She wants to splay out a bit more and be shallower in terms of her heel. I'd like to see her just a bit neater from her shoulders forward to truly appreciate her body shape and added foot size and feature. 
the female that comes here next, whoever bred this female, and potentially it's this young man, they've done their homework. And on paper, this is the most impressive female that we've seen here today. I think as you study her in person, one that's so bold and powerful from up above. I like her stoutness and squareness when you get right in behind the cattle. One that doesn't have quite as much drop to the base of her rib cage, and you could tidy her up in terms of her shoulder just a touch. But a lot of neat things in that particular female. Young man's doing a great job with her. Young lady that comes here next, plenty of depth of body, one that's flexible off of both ends, just a bit flatter in terms of her center body. She matches that when you get right in behind the cattle. Got a loud mark female that comes here next, and I think certainly appreciate for her dimension from up above. Wish she matched it as she went on down to the base of her rib cage. Like to see her a bit more ladylike from her shoulders forward. Female that closes off, sets that heifer directly in front of her in terms of smoothness of shoulder and her elegance from her shoulders forward. Just like to see her more comfortable in her hip and hind leg. Like to see her set down just a bit more confidently out of her front end. Good class there. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Your results from class 204 of pole junior heifer calves in eighth place, entry 1414, Kinley Eckhoff. In seventh place, 1421, Kyle Bells. In sixth place, 1420, Tava Gustafson. In fifth place, 1411, Edward Gould. In fourth place, 1416, Kara Brimmer. In third place, Nolan Lee. In second place, entry 1417, Haxton Harold Hoffman. And your class winner, 1413, Lauren Frederick. In the ring at this time is class 205 of polled junior heifer calves, calf January 17th through the 31st of 2022. We have entries from Chloe Toole, Hayden Marie Hoffman, Blake and Bryce Bransell and Brayson Mayo.
Nice class here. I think certainly an interesting top pair and some good debate back and forth. I like this one that I used to win for more moderate cow size and her added depth of body and just easy keeping look to the base of her rib, one that's flexible in terms of her lower joints. And I still like her better than the heifer in second in terms of her shoulder construction, her added elegance from her shoulders forward, her neatness in terms of her jawline, and just that added look she has from shoulders forward. I think an awfully nice place to start. Now the heifer in second comes with added feature. As you study her to the surface, just general bone work. She's probably just a shot stouter when you get right in behind the cattle and certainly comes with the performance advantage when you study them on uh, or in person, excuse me, as you analyze her further for all of her added frame, I wish she had just a bit more drop to the base of her rib cage. She wants to turn out just a touch more up front and isn't quite as secure about her hawk as you get right in behind the cattle, but certainly has some added stoutness, a feature, some dimension when you get right in behind the cattle. And if you like them with some added performance and frame, I think that one certainly one you can tie into an absolutely giant footed one that comes here in third with some added stoutness when you get right in behind the cattle. I like her turn to the base of her rib cage in motion. She has as many question marks as any of them in those top trio. I'd like to set her back and angle to her shoulder and knee and see her go to the ground with a bit more confidence and comfort there at her hawk and pastern, but certainly a stout, powerful kind of a female. It's got some neat pieces to breed on. The darker, darker red female, short marked heifer that comes here in fourth. I still think one that reads right in terms of her length and levelness of spine, her depth of body, and certainly comes with some added feature and just stoutness when you get right in behind the cattle. For me, she needs a bit more look and presence here from the side profile to move up any higher. She's not near as coordinated in terms of her general movement. Good class there. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Your results from class 205 in fourth place. Entry 1422, Chloe Toll in third place. Entry 1463, Brayson Mayo in second place. Entry 1425, Blake and Bryce Bransell in first place. Entry 1423, Hayden Marie Hoffman. At this time, we will bring back our class winners from class 204 and 205 to select your polled champion junior heifer calf. Really an impressive division as we get back out here in our Januaries and Februaries. And I think back and forth, there's some good topics of conversation amongst these females. The heifer that comes out of this first class, a louder marked female. I really like that one in terms of her general construction from the ground up, her foot size, her squareness in terms of her toe, the way that she reaches off of both ends. Uh, one that certainly I like an awful lot in terms of her attractiveness as skeleton. And then the way that she uses it and still remains so collected in terms of her top line, she's bold and 
and powerful in terms of her body shape. Got plenty of true dimension when you get right in behind her. And then as you step back off her, I think she gives you an awfully neat look. As I said earlier, perfect world. Maybe she could be tucked up just a touch neater in terms of her chest floor. But man, that one does a lot of things right. Then you got this heifer here in second. And in terms of her genetic precursors, this one is an absolute standout. Then you read her in person, and I think she puts a lot of neat things together in terms of her looseness of spine, her plenty, or at a depth of body, a female is still neat from her shoulders forward and comes with plenty of look. As you study her in comparison back to the heifer directly in front of her, I think it's minor criticisms. She's maybe not near as attractive in terms of her hind leg. She could be stoutened up in terms of her foot ever so slightly, but man, I think that one puts a lot of neat things together and her better days are continue to be ahead of her because I think she does a lot of things right as you analyze her from every angle. Good pair of them back and forth and not taking anything away from those ones there in second, but I like these class winners an awful lot. I'm going to use this heifer here out of class one to be your champion. Young lady out of class two is going to be reserved. Congratulations. Your pole champion junior heifer is entry 1413, Lauren Frederick. Your pole reserve champion junior heifer calf is 1423, Hayden Mary Hoffman. Within your Hereford show, class 207 is in the ring at this time. This is polled senior heifer calves, calved October 29th. We have the lone entry, 1431, from Catherine Coleman. I think certainly an impressive female here as we get kicked off in our falls and one that's so comfortable in terms of her lower joints for what she offers from there on back. I think it's a tough combination to put together. She's so powerful in terms of her body shape and general pin width when you get right behind the cattle and then stopped and set up for all those pieces that she puts together. She's still so neat here from the side profile with that kind of length and extension from her shoulders forward, her looseness of center spine, her body shape and comfort, comfort off of both ends. I think an awfully nice place to go here in this particular class and looking forward to getting her back out here in a bit. Your results from class 207. First place, entry 1431, Catherine Coleman. Set to enter the ring this time will be class 208 of polled senior heifer calves. Calved September 1st through September 23rd of 2021. We have two entries, 1435, Blake and Bryce Bransel. Entry 1439 from Samantha Lynn Campbell.
Really a quality pair of Septembers here, and I think a female they used to win that certainly does a lot of things right. Big footed, comfortable in terms of her lower angles, comes with plenty of squareness underneath, and then I think matches that in terms of her body shape and her squareness in terms of her center rib. One that as you step back off her neat looking shoulders forward, maybe like to loosen her up right there over her loin. She wants to jump up just a shade and roll off of her hip. But man, that one reaches good off of both ends. I like her body shape and I like her freshness. Young man's doing a great job getting that one shown. The heifer that comes here next, I think from an individual standpoint, enough depth of body. She's smooth made. She's sound off of both ends. From that ever telling three quarter shot, she wants to flatten a bit more in her heart and forehead. Like to square her up when she turns and goes away as you study her right there at her hawk. Still an awfully nice female. I think certainly a great cow prospect for that young lady. Congratulations. Your results from class 208 of polled senior heifer calves in second place, entry 1439, Samantha Lynn Campbell. In first place, entry 1435, Blake and Bryce Bransell. In the ring at this time is our winners from class 207 and 208 for the selection of the polled champion senior heifer calf. Well, I think an exceptional set of females that represent us here in our senior heifer calf division. As you study both of these, I think that they do a lot of things right. The heifer that comes out of class one, I like her comfort at the surface and to be that powerful and dimensional in terms of her center body and stout in terms of her pin set to still put it all together with that kind of look and presence from the side profile and still move the way that she does. Those are combinations that are hard to put together. I think that female is awfully, awfully nice. The heifer that comes here out of class two comes with just a bit more foot size and general bone work a female comes with a shot more just performance and frame and still can give you a neat look here from the side profile as you study her from her shoulders forward and her lines from her chest floor back into her center body as i said there earlier she wants to duck off her pins just a bit she's not near as secure as she drives her hind leg into the ground uh, right there at her pastern and occasionally at her hawk but some minor criticisms on a female i think puts a lot of neat things together and i really like her added feature good set of them back and forth and not taking anything away from the heifer there in second, but I think it comes down to these class winners and amongst them still a pretty clear cut decision. Young lady's gonna have our division champion, young man's gonna be reserved. Congratulations. Your pole champion senior heifer cast class, excuse me, calf from class two oh seven is Catherine Coleman. And your polled reserve champion senior heifer calf comes from class 208. That is entry 1435, Blake and Bryce Bransell. In the ring at this time will be class 210, polled early yearling females. We have a one lone entry, entry 1441. From Paige Lemonager. This is our only entry within the division, so this will become your polled champion intermediate yearling female.
single entry class as well as division, and I think you could have ran 100 more of them in here, and it still would have been the same result. An awfully nice female here, and I think regardless of where you want to start or how you like evaluating livestock, that one put some neat things together. Her foot size, her flexibility, her body shape, her freshness, her general look here from the side profile is on point. Plenty of natural thickness when you get right in behind her. A heifer, if you want to get critical, runs downhill just a shot. You could stouten her up right there at her heart and forib ever so slightly, but man, that one puts a lot of neat things together. Great in terms of her presentation, showmanship, everything's on point. An awfully nice one to go here in our division. Congratulations. Your results from class 210 in first place and your champion polled intermediate yearling female is entry 1441 Paige Lemonager. Entering the ring at this time is class 211. We have single entry from 1444 Reese Anderson. This is polled spring yearling females Date of birth, April 8th of 2021. Another single entry here, but I think certainly an awfully nice female. In terms of basics of function, I think this one does a lot of things right. She's flexible, she's moderate, she's easy keeping, got the right kind of body shape, and I still think gives you a high quality look here from the side profile. She could be freshened up in her chest floor just ever so slightly. She's maybe not quite as just long and extended throughout as a couple of the other females we've seen here today, but again, I like her flexibility, I like her body shape, I like her general mature cow size down the road. I think an awfully nice place to go here in this particular class. Congratulations. Results from class 211, polled spring yearling females in first place, entry 1444, Reese Anderson. Set to enter the ring at this time is class 212, polled spring yearling females, calved March 2nd through March 22nd of 2021. We have entry 1449, Chesney Effling. Entry 1450, Kinsley, Sage, and Cashlin Krebs. And entry 1451, Timber and Shiloh Billman.
Nice class here, and I think a pretty logical place to start. I have for that in terms of her stoutness and flexibility at her running gear. That one does a lot of things right. Appreciate her moderation and her easy keeping look to the base of her rib cage. I think still puts it all together with a high quality look here from the side profile and remains collected when set into motion. A heifer that's so easy keeping and maybe works to her disadvantage just a touch. I like to tidy her up in her chest floor just a shade. See her just a bit fresher there at her crest. But man, a bold, dense bodied kind of a female that gets out and goes comfortably off of both ends with a stout running gear underneath of her. Another heifer here in second that's stout and powerful in terms of her center body dimension. She's opened up and square when you get right in behind the cattle and has enough feature as she goes to the ground with plenty of look here from the side profile. Biggest thing is you send that one into motion. She's just got to go better out of her hip and hind leg. She's a bit more restricted than what I personally like to see. A bit tighter right there in her heart and forward and just generally needs to be a shot more comfortable on the go. The heifer that comes here in third one that I like in terms of her moderation, her easy keeping look to the base of her rib. She's honestly just a bit more flexible even than the heifer ahead of her as you study her at the ground. Just doesn't have as many of those extras. A female to me just needs to be stoutened up in terms of her foot and feature. A female he'd like to see tidied up at the base of her shoulder. And just come with a bit more look and eye appeal from there on forward. But certainly in function, basics of true cow uh, parts, I think that one does a lot of things right. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Class 212 results for the Pole Spring Yearling Females. In third place, entry 1451, Timber and Shiloh Billman. Second place, 1450, Kinsley, Sage, and Cashlin Krebs. And your class winner, 1449, Chesney Effling. At this time, we will bring back our winners from classes 211 and 212 to select your polled champion and reserve champion spring yearling females. We come back out here for our spring yearling division. I think uh, certainly a quality trio of females, a dark red heifer that comes out of this first class. I think one that you like in terms of her moderation and her easy keeping look, one that's sound and comfortable as she goes to the surface. She's not near as opened up or stout as the two females directly behind her. And by comparison, maybe just a bit shorter in terms of her general construction. But again, moderate, easy keeping and sound. I think that's certainly a kind of cattle that we got to keep in mind out here in these shows. The effort that comes here out of this second class, got a big running gear underneath of her and sound and comfortable. I think doesn't even begin to describe it. One that's loose in terms of her center 
spine. She's opened up and massive in terms of her rib cage. One that I think for maybe being just a little bit past her prime in terms of her crest and lower chest floor, still wears it well and can give you an awfully neat look here from the side profile. Again, I really like the way that she's assembled when set in motion, how collected she remains and still gives you that good look. Then that effort that comes second out of that class, so stout and powerful in terms of her general makeup. She's the squarest in terms of her pin set. She's genuinely the most opened up in her upper rib cage and a female I think still gives you a good look here on the stand in motion. As I said there earlier, and I think it contradicts maybe a bit her general construction. She's just a little tighter in terms of her hip and hind leg. I like to see her get out and go with just more athleticism off of both ends, but I think still a high quality female. Puts a lot of neat things together. I think be an interesting donor piece to have standing around. Good set of them here. I, I thought it was an awfully good class as we came in there out of that second class. Still an easy decision for me, but we're going to keep those two together, the heifers out of that second class. Congratulations to both of them. Your pole champion spring yearling female is from class 212. And that is entry 1449, Chesney Effling. Your pole reserve champion spring yearling female also comes from class 212. That is entry 1450 from Kinsley, Sage, and Cashlin Krebs. In the ring at this time is class 212. We have four entries. Colby and Franklin, Jalen and Zeke Ward, Kenley Carr, and Kira and Kinsley Bremer.
Nice class of them here, and I think uh, as you study these females from start to finish, certainly a great deal of quality throughout this particular class. The effort that I used to win still puts the most neat things together. As you study her here from the side profile, that's the freshest females. You study her in her chest floor, and as she works from there on forward into her jawline, one that's bold and massive in terms of her rib cage. She's stout and powerful in terms of her pin set and still goes comfortably off of both ends. I think certainly a nice place to start there. I'd like to see her lay her tail head neater in the back side of her hip and see her just a bit stronger right there at the base of her heart and full rib and I think that's where you can get to liking this heifer here in second. She's so massive in terms of her mid rib. She's one that's stout and powerful when you get right in behind her. She is just a bit neater in terms of her tail head and where it lays on the back side of her hip. A heifer for me that you like an awful lot in terms of her moderation and just low input look as you study her further. She's just a bit shorter everywhere and I think that probably starts to work to her disadvantage just a bit when you analyze her back to that female directly in front of her. The heifer that comes here next comes with more true performance and the females directly ahead of her. A female that comes with plenty of length of body and depth of rib. I still think she's fairly comfortable off of both ends. She's just starting to open up in her front end. She's not near as neat or smooth in her transition from her shoulder back into her full rib and heart. A female wants to break down her loin just a touch. I think just her maturity starting to work against her just a shade, but I think still an awfully nice heifer there in third. The female that closes comes with plenty of depth the body. She's an easy keeping kind to the point where it's starting to work to her disadvantage just a bit. I'd like to lean her up in her chest floor, see her just a bit more of a chiseled look here from the side profile to work up any higher. Good class there. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Results from class 213 in fourth place. 1457 Jalen and Zeke Ward Third place, 1458, Kenley Carr. In second place, 1459, Kira and Kinsley Bremer. And your class winner, entry 1454, Colby Ann and Caden Franklin. In the ring at this time is class 214. This is polled junior yearling females. We have the single entry of 1461 from Timber and Shiloh Billman. This is the only female within the division, so this will be your pole champion junior yearling female. My mistake, we will be bringing back class 213 and 214 winners for the pole champion selection. Single entry here, but certainly one that brings to the table some neat pieces. One that's so dense in terms of her body type and stout and powerful when you get right in behind her. A female that comes with some added moderation. I, I've always said I'm not going to tell someone what the right size of mature cow is, uh, but I think this one airs on the side of a shade small. If that's what you're looking for in your operation, I think this one does a lot of things right. She's still fairly flexible underneath. Again, so powerful in terms of her center body makeup. As you step back off her, she can still give you a good look. Biggest thing for me as I'd like to see a shot more extension from her shoulders forward. I like to stouten her up in terms of her foot size to match her dimension from there on up. But an awfully nice class winner here. Looking forward to seeing her here in a second. Congratulations. Class 214 results. First place goes to 1461 Timber and Shiloh Billman. At this time, we will bring back our winners from Class 213 and 214 to select the pole champion junior and reserve champion junior yearling females.
final division here in our junior yearlings, and it stayed solid all day long. I think we've had a great deal of quality in each and every one of these division drives, and we see it again here. I think certainly a, a female that kicks us off there in that first class put some neat things together in terms of elegance from her shoulders forward, a bold turn to the upper portion of her rib cage, the right kind of fill back through her rear rib and flank, and then a stout and attractive hip and hind leg. She does all those things to a very high degree. As I said there earlier, maybe you'd like to see her tailhead lay neater in the back side of her hip. Maybe you'd like to power up in her fore rib just ever so slightly, but some minor criticisms on a female. It puts a lot of neat things together. Heifer that comes here out of this second class, moderate, dense in terms of her body type, stout and powerful when you get right in behind her. As I said there a second ago, you'd maybe like to lengthen her out from her shoulders forward or stouten her up in terms of her foot size to make it all match, but I think still a female does a lot of things right. Then we got that second. That's without a doubt in contention. I like that one in terms of her flexibility, her easy keeping kind to the base of her rib cage, a female that just puts it all together with a balanced, high quality look. Earlier I said she could maybe just be a bit longer, more extended shoulders forward, a bit square back out through her hip. But again, some minor criticisms on a female, does a lot of things right, and I think it all starts at the surface with that one there. Good set of them here in this particular division. I think a straightforward decision for me. We're going to keep these heifers out of the first class together as your champion in reserve. Congratulations. Your pole champion junior yearling female is entry 1454, Colby Ann and Caden Franklin. And your reserve champion goes to 1459, Kira and Kinsley Bremer. At this time, we will bring back all of our division winners to select our polled and our polled champion and reserve champion female.
Well, an awesome lineup as we get back out here at the end of our pulled show. And if you're staying at ringside, go ahead and put your hands together for all these exhibitors. <laughs> Exceptional step from start to finish. I thought the show ran extremely smooth. And I think the biggest thing that we got to consider out here is just how good this junior program is. And from the moment that I said earlier, I got the call, been fired up to do this show uh, because you know that you're going to see a first class event and a first class ran show by this association. It all starts at the top uh, and works its way down uh, through the, the leadership here in this particular breed. And I think that's something that's pretty exciting to see uh, as I work here in, in this Hereford breed or as we kind of work here in this Hereford breed in our operation. It's something that I've always really admired amongst these breeders and the association to put their arms around these kids and try to help support them to be the best that they possibly can. Uh, I think it's certainly impressive. Uh, I live with a, a gal that certainly went through the, the Hereford ranks and I think she's pretty cool. And then obviously watching uh, my sister-in-law kind of go through the Hereford uh, Association, Junior Association and seeing what that did for her. I think it's truly impressive and as a breed, something that y'all should be awfully, awfully proud of. And I think uh, as you look back out here it, it's not just the quality of the cattle, but it's also the quality of the kids. And so for that, truly appreciative for the opportunity to come out here again uh, to the association, the junior board, and the junior leadership for having me out here. Uh, I truly appreciate the honor to come sort through these cattle because it's been awfully fun. I, every time before I set this microphone down, I thank my crew, and, and I'm fortunate enough to have them out here today uh, with me. And so certainly excited for that opportunity that we're going to get to spend here at the National Western over the next couple days a uh, special place a special show and i think certainly we got a couple special champions out here that i'm about to go slap pretty straightforward champion for me i think one that's awfully impressive and i'm going to take one more look for reserve if you would put your hands together for all of our polled exhibitors here today for everybody who helped put on this show and all the exhibitors back at the barn it's been awfully fun thank you Your pole champion female is also the pole champion intermediate yearling female. That is 1441 Paige Lemonager. Your reserve champion is your pole champion junior heifer calf, and that is entry 1413, Lauren Frederick. Want to thank everyone for coming out for our Junior Angus show as well as our Hereford show. Special thanks to our judges, Dan 
Harker and Nick Fitzsimmons for judging today's shows. At this time, our exhibitors will be taking pictures with the judges. And we appreciate everyone coming out.